Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw pitched roofs. We learn how to find each of the planes of these pitched roofs. As you can see here, we have a plan view of a house seen from above, and I'm asked to draw these roofs with the following data. The drip edges are all horizontal and at the same height. I'm also asked that the roof planes all have the same pitch angle. They don't specify this pitch angle, but they do tell me it needs to be the same. So it's solved in the same way in the plan view. As you can see, the drip edges forming the roof are at 90 degree angles. This makes it easier to facilitate the solution. So the first step will be to number the edges from one to 10, as you can see here. We have 10 drip edges. Next, since all the planes have the same pitch, we're going to find the angular bisectors of each pair of edges. We start by working out the angular bisector of edges 1 and 2. So centering the compass on the corner where the lines 1 and 2 meet, we draw an arc with a radius which intersects edges 1 and edges 2 at two points, which will be the center points of our two new arcs. These last two arcs must have the same radius. These last two arcs intersect at a point which, when joined with the corner vertex, gives me the angular bisector that we are looking for. This angular bisector, as it's one from edges 1 and 2, we are going to name it 1, 2. This angular bisector will be a hip of the roof that we are designing. Next, we are going to make the angular bisector of edges 1 and 10. And as we said before, all the grid edges are at 90 degree angles to each other. So we don't need to continue making angular bisectors with the compass. We just know they form 45 degree angles. There we would have the angular bisector of 1 and 10, which intersects with 1, 2 at a point highlighted here in red. So what we do to find the new direction is to eliminate the repeated numbers in this case, 1 is repeated, and we keep the other two numbers, 2 and 10. So the ridge that continues is the angular bisector of 2 and 10. Since they are parallel in this case, the angular bisector will also be parallel, passing through the red highlighted intersection point. So we are going to draw it starting from the last intersection, and this line is going to be a ridge line of the roof that we are going to draw. We will number this line with the numbers that form it, 2 and 10. Next, we will continue through the narrow areas of the house on the right hand side. We're going to draw the angular bisector of 8 and 9 and the angular bisectors of 7 and 8, both at 45 degree angles as shown following the same process as before. These two new angular bisectors intersect at a point. We'll continue, as before, eliminating the repeated number, in this case number 8, and we keep the other two numbers 7 and 9. Consequently, the roof ridge line would continue with the bisector of 7 and 9. Just like before, since they are parallel, the line will also be parallel to 7 and 9. So we'll draw it starting at the last intersection. In these two cases, when the edge lines are parallel, the bisector will continue parallel. And if they're not, the line will continue with the angular bisector they form. So now we'll number this new horizontal ridge line with the numbers that form it, 7 and 9. And we'll continue, as we said, through the narrow areas. We'll continue on the left side, in this case, making the angular bisector of edges 4 and 5 and the angular bisector of 3 and 4, both at 45 degrees, both intersect at a point, we'll number them 3, 4 and 4, 5. So to continue, we'll eliminate the repeated number, in this case 4, and we'll keep the other two numbers, in this case 3 and 5, which just like in the previous two cases are parallel, so the new ridge line will also be parallel. So now let's draw it. We'll number the new line with the numbers 3 and 5. Let's see how these three parts of the roof connect. 
So next, we'll continue drawing angular bisectors. We'll draw the angular bisector of edges 2 and 3, which will be a valley of the roof. It intersects with the ridge line 3, 5 at a point. We'll do this as usual, eliminate the repeated number in this case. So it will be number 3. And we'll keep the other two numbers, 2 and 5. In this case, they're neither parallel nor intersecting. What we have to do is to elongate line number 2 until it cuts with line number 5. We join this new intersection with the previous one and get the next bisector. You can check that it forms 45 degrees. This is the next ridge line. From this bisector, we'll keep the part that elongates from the intersection point to the right. We number it 2, 5. We continue with the next angular bisector, that of 5 and 6, which intersects with 2, 5 at this point you see highlighted here in red. We do as usual, eliminate the repeated number and we keep the other two numbers. We eliminate number 5 and we keep numbers 2 and 6, which just like in the previous cases are also parallel. So the new ridge line will also be parallel. There we have the next line, a ridge. We will number this line with the numbers that form it, 2 and 6. So to continue, we are going to work out the angular bisector of edges 6 and 7, which cuts the 7-9 ridge at a point. We repeat the operation, we eliminate number 7, which is the number that repeats, and we keep 6 and 9, which, as you can see, form 90 degrees, and you do not intersect, and they do not intersect, so we have, as in the previous case, to elongate the edge line, number 6, until it intersects edge line number 9. This intersection point will be where the next bisector line we're looking for passes through. We join this point with the previous intersection point and where this new line intersects at ridge 26 we get another important point of the roof. We repeat the operation we remove the repeating number, which in this case is number 6, and we keep the other two numbers, 2 and 9. As you can see, they are also perpendicular. They do not intersect either, as in the previous cases, we must elongate line number 9 until it intersects with line number 2. We will obtain the new hip line by joining this intersection with the previous one. As you can see, here. This new hip line, 2, 9, forms a 45 degree angle, as can be seen here in the video, which intersects the ridge 2, 10 at another new point, as you can see. As always, we remove the repeating number, which in this case is number 2, and we keep the other two numbers, 9 and 10. As you can see, this will be the missing bisector the valley line in this case of edges 9 and 10. This is the last line of the roof. We now have all the roof lines finished. We just need to draw the final lines with a thicker line. We're drawing the final lines, the ridges 2, 10, the valley 9, 10, the hip 2, 9, the hip 6, 9, the ridge 7, 9, the hip 8, 9, the other hip 7, 8, the valley 6, 7, and the ridge 2, 6. The other hip 5, 6 and hip 2, 5. As we said, we only keep that part of the line. The valley 2, 3 
and the hip three four, the hip four five, the ridge five six, are three five. The valleys form V's on the roof and the hips form apexes. We just need to highlight the premier edges in a thicker line to have the exercise completely finished. So here we have the exercise finished, solving a sloped roof of a simple house design with edges forming 90 degree angles and at the same height. All the roof planes maintain the same pitch angle. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next video, thank you very much.